Hello, welcome to my next tutorial in MIT App Inventor. So this is tutorial 6. So in this tutorial, we will learn some more databases. So in the last tutorial, we learned TinyDB. So we did like the name when they enter the name and save it. Even if they close the app, it will stay. So now we are going to use some other databases like CloudDB, File, File, and uh, TinyWebDB. So now let me delete all of these. Or I think we are going to use this. So let me delete TinyDB because we will see now TinyWebDB. So in this tutorial, we will concentrate on only TinyWebDB. Yes. So now TinyWebDB you will store all your you can store your app information and it will be available for all of them who are using the app for example i can store the high scores if you are creating a game in mit app inventor the high scores can be so stored in tiny web db so that all the mobiles will be who are having your app will be able to see the high scores Yes, so now there's a website for tiny webdb. So let me go there. Yes. So here we have tiny web. I'm going to put the web web link in the description below. So you can see app inventor for Android tiny webdb service. So first I'm going to store a value. So like we do for tiny db here also we will put a tag so the tag is going to be the tag is going to be user users because i'm going to store all the names here in this tag and then the value is going to be let it be we are going to store the name of the user and then the address so i'm going to put comma here because we will store it as a list or you can just make it as empty string so or i'll put username and i'll store the address separately yes so the tag name is username so let's copy this tag and i'm going to paste it in the block so uh, let me delete all of these yes so now here here we have button one click which is the save button before you see this tutorial make sure you have seen the tiny db tutorial which was the last tutorial tutorial file so that you, it will be easy for you to do this tutorial so button one is save button and this is text box one and text box two so now when button one is clicked tiny webdb dot store value the tag is going to be this one user name it is case sensitive so you make sure for this tag i need to put u and n capital so value to store is going to be the name so which is text box one dot text so if we do like this if a, a if a person clicks on save their name will get saved but we want a list of people's names to be saved and then we are going to show it in a list so before you do this you also need to see the list tutorial which i had made earlier so let me make this list background color to white and text color to black yes so now we we should not store this one we need to add an item to a list so first what we will do is that so now i'm going to bring when screen initialize block yes so when the screen is initialized we are going to get the value of the tag called username so to 
to get it you need to put tiny web db dot get value tag so i think we are not going to do address let's just do for the name then you can do the same for the address yes so now i'm going to get value the value is going to be no for it uh, it's going to, the tag is going to be username so i'll get all the list from the username the list so if we need a list we need to store a value and we need to put this one square brackets for a list so now it's stored so now after i get the value you need to use this block when tiny web db dot got value which means that we do this one after it gets the value from the from the web server then we need to store in a variable so this variable is going to be user names from tiny web db i'm putting these long names for variables because to make make you understand but we should not put this much big for variables it needs to be short yes so now we will set the value of this variable to get value from web db so we will get the value and store it in this variable we already have a variable called value from db so why are we storing it again in this variable because this is a local variable a local variable will work only inside this block if you put for example i'm getting the set or i'll get set here so now it doesn't show an error because it is inside now if i put the same thing here it shows an error because it's a local variable and it will not it will work only inside so for that i'm storing in a global variable here you can see global usernames yes so now after i store it when they click button 1 it needs to add items to a list the list is going to be this one usernames from tiny db so it will add another item when they click on save another name so the item is going to be textbox1.txt yes so now when after got value remember to put this one set list view 1 dot elements to so if you go to list view you can see this block i'm going to set the list view elements to this one this variable so that the people's name will be visible here so now after i add the item in the variable i need to store again in tiny web db because i'm not adding in tiny web db i'm just adding in a variable so now store value the tag is going to be the same username tag and the value is going to be this variable yes so now it will store this and then it should set list view 1 dot elements to this variable so now it is finished so now let us test the app yes so now you can see the app let me put my name krishna and i'll save it so you can see that the name is added and now i'm going to go to tiny web db and check it i need to go to get value and the tag will be username and get value you can see that it is added in the database so now let me add another name it's going to be shriram save 
yes so now you can see here both of them and here if I refresh the page you can see it is added so now you can show it in all mobiles so I'm getting the value and showing it here so thank you for watching this tutorial please subscribe in the next tutorial we will learn about the other databases